So go ahead, you can use the old view master and tell us what you see. Oh, it's Safari. <laughs> it's like probably the exact same one I had. Oh, look, an elephant. And we've got a very awkward looking gazelle. He's totally tripping. He's like on his front legs and his butt's in the air. That's a cool shot. I would get one if I knew where to get one. <laughs> So okay. what is that? I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> I remember. A viewfinder, right? Is it a viewfinder? Oh, viewmaster. Viewmaster. I like how it says 3D. It's coming at you. Why do you know what a viewmaster is? Though? Well, because I'm old. Because I had a whole bunch when I was a kid. And whenever we went to like Yosemite or something, we would get like a new slide. I love them. When I was a kid, we totally played with these things all the time. This was like internet for the 1970s. So you had one of these? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did, right next to the Etch-a-Sketch, which I broke. Go ahead and put it to your eyes and talk us through what you see. No way. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. Oh my god, elephants. And they're drinking, they're so cute. Hey, that cheetah is checking out those rhinos. Run away, run away, run away! There's elephantes. Oh, whoa. African elephants can reach a top speed of 25 miles an hour. I didn't know that. How am I supposed to outrun an elephant? Oh my god, y'all. Look at those cute zebras. <gasps> oh, there's video in it. Oh, no. Stop it. Equus. Quagga Burcelli? I don't know. <laughs> we want to show you a different one, which is outer space. I don't know why this reminds me of Mega Man, too. Can I click it? <gasps> it's in my face now. I'm like standing on the rings. Oh, I'd play with this for hours. Our solar system consists of the sun, our star, eight planets, and their natural satellites. I know, poor Pluto. I could totally see using that in the classroom. Do you think this technology will help kids learn? Yes, it would help them. When you're learning, when you're having fun, it tends to stick. When you experience something, you hold on to it. Reading a book versus like actually getting to interact with stuff and see things and, and play games, totally. It's interactive is what it is. It, whereas in a classroom, it's just your teacher lecturing about you this, you can actually see the planets, you can engage with them. There's such a visual, like, screen-centered culture now that I think even just to have that and the movie kind of part of it, it looks, it's like a 3D movie, you know, that would keep the kids more engaged. Is this a toy that you think kids would want today? Yes. God, I hope so. Like, I would be super sad if kids were like, oh, that's so boring. If they're stuck in front of the computer versus picking this thing up and going out there and participating in something, that's the attraction. Do you wish you had this Viewmaster when you were a kid? I would have spent hours on that. Yeah, this would be great. Now I'm like, I used to like that. <laughs> oh, so much yes. <laughs> Growing up for me, like having Two screens, maybe, was a big deal. They have like five now, and that's just normal. Man, you remember the days of like portable MP3? That was like cool, but now you've got like streaming music, and I can't even 